Let's talk about money. We were taught to not talk about it. We were told it was impolite. Unfortunately, we must make money for our lives. The relationship between money and happiness is an endless topic in our lives, and we must think about it every day. Albert Camus once said, it's kind of a spiritual snobbery to make people think people could be happy without money. Now I'm here to convince you money can provide short-term happiness to yourself and to your loved ones. Moreover, it could provide personal security in people's lives, long-term happiness. Let's begin by looking at the temporary happiness. We always hear money can't buy happiness, a well-known saying that isn't completely true. Money, money can buy numerous things that could provide short-term happiness. We talk about short-term happiness, we must look at the two recipients, the self and the other. Think of the basic things we buy, such as clothing and entertainment. Do you have an experience of being hungry? Delicious food can happy, make you happy right away. Do you have an experience of being thirsty in a heated summer? Grabbing a soda with your friends will put you in a great mood. Treating yourself new clothes and haircuts can also increase happiness. You use a brand new iPhone in school. It doesn't matter whether you received it from your parents or you bought it. Your friends will be jealous, right? You feel temporary happy. We're humans after all. In addition, one of our biggest source of joy is entertainment, whether it's see a favorite movie or play your favorite games. All of these things are bought with temporary happiness. I must emphasize once again, money not only can give us temporary happiness, but it gives us the ability to make someone else happier. Giving gift is a tradition in our daily lives. A gift is kind of a mood booster that can make someone else happier. For example, on Mother's Day, you spend your own money to buy a gift to your mom. I believe your mom will be happy. They will feel touched because you bought a gift for them, and they will also feel appreciated by what you've done. This type of kind happiness can be permanent in their memories. Seeing delight in a parent's face can also bring us joy. It's a win-win situation for everyone involved. Now, some might disagree, saying you don't actually need to spend money for a gift. You could make your own DIY project. Indeed, your mom will be happy in the same degree. But then again, if you want to craft a gift, you must buy the materials first. What is more, we don't live in a perfect world, and there are still people out there that are in need of help. Donating money not only helps people, but it makes those who need help happy. Think of the homeless people you see while walking on the streets. They are all desperate for a better life and for money. Giving a dollar or two to a homeless person will make them feel grateful and thankful by what you've done. This type, once again, everyone involved is a winner. As you've seen so far, money can provide security and ensure us happiness. Doesn't matter whether the happiness is permanent or temporary. Money can provide security, and a lot of people worry about unforeseen expenses or losing their jobs, which is important to treat money carefully because shortage money can be stressful to anybody. Some people face and question themselves of making insufficient money. Without the extra money set aside, we're not in a good mood to buy a gift for loved ones or, buy, or give a dollar to a homeless person. Without money, we don't feel safe. Money gives us comfort and flexibility in life. In conclusion, Money can buy you material possessions, but those objects only bring you temporary happiness. It doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor. The happiest people are not the ones getting more, but giving more. However, without financial security, personal well-being would suffer, and talking about happiness would be ridiculous, isn't it? Lastly, at the end of my speech, I must say money can buy happiness.